Notching a unit for beams and columns are one of the greatest costs in a cabinet designer's budget. ADECO is designed to minimize the time and budget loss in both designing and producing a kitchen cabinet by making the notching operation easy and automatic. First, let's explore the ease in design. There is a 30 by 20 column on the corner. Let's place a unit there. All we have to do when placing a unit is to move the outline close to the column on the corner. And when the outline jumps and sticks to the corner, we will place it there. And that's it. Let's check the body measurements and see how notching affects the manufacturing report. Here in this report, we see the unit from its back and left. Checking the notching measurements here, we can see that the program notched an extra 2 cm for precaution. We can change this value from settings, general unit dimensions. Here, this gap value specifies this extra notching. We can define the default values for all notching operations here. However, we can also change the notching for a single unit too. To do that, we need to select the unit, right click on it and choose Notch. In this window, we can change the notching however we want. Notching operations for mid-wall columns are done automatically too. Let's place another unit. However, let's say instead of notching this unit like this, I want to notch the back completely. Let's select the unit, right click, notch. When I choose the back option here, it will notch the back completely. In many occasions, this is preferred to ease the operations in the workshop during manufacturing. Notching for wall units are also automatic, and the program can notch for both columns and the beams. Let's place a corner wall unit. Let's remove the door. As you can see, it is notched. Let's insert a glass door unit right next to it. It is notched too. And finally, let's check the body measurements again. 